Hello my friends and fellow Vetsies, I am feeling a tiny bit under the weather today, so I thought it would be a good day to come sit at my crafting desk and work on something. I'm going to try to put together a zine today. I've got a whole bunch of magazines that are sort of sitting on the floor from um, a work activity that I facilitated not too long ago. I've got my handy pocket dictionary, which I have already cut up and used for several zines, um, including this zine that I made a few years ago. Um, all that we could do with this emotion. Uh, the inside has got various dictionary definitions and a lot of text. And I love the visual style of it, so I'm going to try to do something a little bit similar to that and we'll see how far we get. Um, as it turns out, we did not get very far with that. I flipped through my pocket dictionary for a while, but there weren't any words or themes that jumped out at me. So then I flipped through Sarah Merck's book, Year of Zines, for ideas, and she suggests thinking about any knowledge you have to share, recent conversations with friends, but trying to write something seemed intimidating. So I scrapped the whole idea, I turned to my sketchbook, and I was looking for more aesthetic ideas. I mean, I play around with lettering a lot, so I toyed with the idea of maybe doing like a lyric book, but then I found some doodling that I did a while back, a style that I'd stumbled into and liked. I've decided that I'm going to try to make a sort of abstract zine, and we might add some words to it later, but for now, this is what we're working with. Okay, so this is our finished product. Uh, I decided that it would be totally abstract and I decided not to put any words in. So we've gone for just like the full squiggle and I'm pretty happy with the result. It was a good little creative exercise and it was actually pretty freeing to not have to worry about a theme or writing words in, but just to sort of see where the pen takes me, um, as Paul Clay would say, to take a line for a walk. Much like Caleb's experiment with watercolors, I don't feel super comfortable as a visual artist sort of just with my markers and a piece of paper. This was new for me. I had the advantage of not trying to recreate a particular building, so my squiggles are allowed to look like squiggles. But I think that the principle still holds that as adults, we often don't give ourselves the opportunity to try something new and to just be kind of bad at it. Or that it doesn't really matter whether we're good or bad at it, because the point is to have fun or to stimulate our creativity or to experiment. In any case, I would highly advise you if you're looking for something to stimulate your creativity, make a zine. I feel like I say this every year during feds, but I mean it. They're so fun. Um, they're very small, they're easy to manage, and they're a great way of experimenting and trying something new. You never know what you're gonna make. And if nothing else, it momentarily distracted me from the fact that my body is not feeling entirely great today. But as Abby advised us uh, in their video about toast, we need to nourish our bodies, so I am going to go make myself some food and drink and nourish my body and rest, and my friends and fellow Betsies, I will see all of you tomorrow.